Hi there, I just wanted to introduce the videos that this is going to be. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was actually October 29th, I did a chat with another YouTuber named Tom Vins. I'll link his channel below. And so, I finally got around to breaking the videos down. And so, I'm first going to put up the there's three sections of us chatting about red pill black the third section actually has a little bit of other stuff like um this was like i said this was before november 4th this was on october 27th 29th um this is the day that red pill black put up her halloween video um anyway so one of the things we discussed was also predictions for November 4th, and it kind of ended up fitting in well with the chat about Red Pill Black. It's in part three of Red Pill Black. But yeah, so what did you what did you find when you did your research on Red Pill Black? So, like, my thing with Red Pill Black was basically that, like, I came across her, it was either through, like, Stephen Molyneux or Red Pill mm -hmm. that I first heard of her. Yeah, she I, did. Like, I went to her channel. Yeah, I went to her channel. And it was like she had like fourteen videos. So That's what she has now, yeah. I she probably had yeah, less like then. Something. Yeah, it was probably like ten or something. So is she pulling uh, up today, so fifteen, but continue on. What I here's my thing with like people like her is what I see is that essentially I think what happens is that people are especially like in the like the alt light or like I guess the new right movement are so like in need or want for like like people that aren't white basically to be like part of the group right so they can say like i'm not racist i'm not racist look we have a black woman you know what i mean yeah they're total no cucks action. they're absolutely but, total cucks yeah yeah and it's like they just want anybody to say to be able to say i'm not racist and then you end up with situations like this where this chick was like an absolute like total leftist and you know i, I I totally think, you know, maybe she did change her opinions. Um, but another thing is when you get 150,000 followers on 10 videos, you're not saying anything important. You're just, like, repeating things that other people want to hear. You know what I mean? So that was my first suspect thing of her. It was like, you know, not, I'm not being a hater or anything. Like, I no. everybody had 150,000, you know what I mean? But it's just like, and then I watched her videos, and it's like, I mean, she has, like, a good, um, like uh set up you know what i mean she got her videos are interesting or whatever as far as like the the camera work and the uh the editing and such but it's just uh it, it's she's just repeating the same thing everybody else said and it, it's the truth is if she was just you know a white dude she would never have the following she has and or even a white female thing. yeah exactly and, and people will make excuses for her and it's like this chick was starting a doxy. I mean, for all intents and purposes, like a doxy website. Exactly. Did, didn't shut it down and then lied about it. It's like at least come clean on it and be like, you know, hey, look, I, I thought this was cool back then. I made a mistake. I should have shut it down. I should have done this. I should have done whatever. Um, but it's the whole like trying to lie your way out of it and make excuses out of it. And I kind of, I kind of compare her in a way to like was a uh, Remy Millennial. It's like she's the same kind of idea where it's like you don't really say anything new. You know what I mean? You're just a different face saying the old things. Yeah, but like, roaming doesn't have... So, I mean, I wasn't comparing her in the aspect of, like, um... <laughs> roaming didn't make a doxing site. You know, being on the left, like, right millennia or anything. It's just that idea where it's like, you, you get this massive following based on, you know, you claim to be against identity politics, but your identity is exactly what is getting you the following because you're not even saying anything relatively new or enlightening. You know what I mean? It's just well, kind of repeating the same it's thing. It's not just... You know it's not just that. Um, I mean, you're saying this as if Infowars and Fox and Cernovich and Rubin, you're saying this as if they went to her, and I strongly suspect she went to them. Uh, probably, yeah. There, she definitely seems like she's just grabbing attention. There is a guy. I just did, I don't know if you saw, it, it was in, I think, my last video. There's a guy that I keep seeing him in the comments for her from, like, the last month and a half month. And he's all like, yay, yay, she's awesome, da, 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 da. I see him all over. I found his Twitter. His Twitter is all her. So I tweet him, and I'm like, 
I'm like, should I dare? And I'm like, yeah. I thought he was going to block me, but instead she blocked me. So she must have saw it or he must have pulled her. And, you know, she had to be shielded from the mean, you know, true conservative woman who asked. I asked him, are you her agent sleeping with her or trying to sleep with her? You're one of the three. Nobody shills somebody that hard for nothing. Yeah, it's probably her just putting, like, positive comments, you know what I mean, trying to build up her own image, No, which I don't think so, image. because there's a picture and stuff, and in his schools and stuff, I think it says, like, he has, like, two or three different schools, and one of them says that he studied PR, so I think it's, like, oh, okay. a commission-based gotcha. agent, that's what I think it is. I think um, I mean, this she, guy is getting, like, 10% of her Patreon or something, that's what I think. <laughs> Probably writing her scripts for her. He's legitimately conservative, but I don't think she is. Like, one of the first things he did when he responded to me was, he was like, oh, I, I, I know she's a conservative. And I was like, how do you know that? And he never really responded. And I was like, have you met her in person? You know, he didn't answer any of my questions. He eventually... He just, like, turned around and insulted me. Basically, he acted like a leftist. But I looked at his Twitter feed, and the little bit that wasn't him shilling her, it did look like conservative stuff, but it was like, you know, um, the 50-year-old conservative who drives a beige Buick and has, you know, shit-stained, <laughs> tiny whitey skin marks! <laughs> Pardon my French! <laughs> because I came out of, like, the 3 percenter movement and, like, you know, the, like, the, the prepper, like... Yeah, I noticed you're very, thing. like, the gun thing. Yeah, out of angle, out of where I kind of came into this. And, I, and I've and i always been kind of, like, a radical person, I guess not in, the, in a better sense of the word, you know what I mean? But um, I, I noticed this recent trend, kind of like post-Trump, is, like, that the being conservative or whatever, which I don't even really consider myself a conservative... Um, it is the new cool thing, right? So you have all these people that are realizing that the left is dying and it's it's old, it's over, people are sick of it, and they're switching sides. So you're getting the same type of person that used to, like this red pill black girl that used to run to the left for exposure and for popularity, and now they're coming to the right. And I, I see it with a lot of these people, and it's like, it, like, I've been in this kind of thing for a long time, and it, I, I can see, like, a different element, you know what I mean, kind of splintering in, and it, it's just different, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's like, everybody, I know, everybody it's always cool. points out, like, I can tell you're a real conservative, not, like, most of these people, because, I mean... Yeah. I've never, like she said in an interview, she has actually, I posted this, she said she has never actually voted a Republican yet. She's still registered as a Democrat, and she still hasn't gone in and voted, you know, Republican for so much as any election. But she also claimed that she had been red-pilled immediately after the whole situation with Zoe and Randy. And, yeah, and that's, I don't mind that, you don't get red, you take a series of red pills, right? Well, that's, like, that's how I see, there's like, people that say like, oh, I was immediately red pilled, I'm like, that, that doesn't happen that way. You yeah, know? that's what everybody is saying, I just came yeah. from um, a live stream with four, four YouTubers in the live stream on a Google Hangouts, and then um, like 300 people in the side chat. And everybody basically said the same thing. All of the YouTubers and all of the side chatters, everybody basically I said mean, that. For me, for me, back in 2001, you know, being like, you know, anti-Iraq war, and I mean, I, I would never consider myself like being on the left. I was always kind of a neutron, you know what I mean, central kind of person. But from that point to now, I've eaten about 47 red pills, you know. It's not <laughs> something that just happens overnight. You don't just go from like... I'm a raging SJW to now I'm all of a sudden anti-feminist, I'm anti-this, I'm anti... It just doesn't happen that way, you know what I mean? You kind of you slowly descend down the rabbit hole. And I question anybody who immediately goes like that, you know what I mean? And especially publicly, like, they, I mean, there are positions that I might hold for a day or two, you know what I mean? Where I just don't go initially public on that position because right. I'm not sure that I'm going to be that way. 
eight hours from now. You know what I mean? And I, I just, I don't know. I couldn't Younger people it. plus women, either one of those are both demographics that tend to be flakier on these things. I mean, I'm not like most women yeah, in a yeah. lot of ways because... I'm extremely analytical and skeptical. I mean, that's where my name comes, analytical. Yeah, right. Right. And I I just see that as, like, you know, anybody that says that, where it's like, oh, I was just changed every night. It's like, next, anytime you're presented with new information, I mean, what most people, I think, do is first you kind of rebut it, and then you kind of look at it and you go, you know, maybe there's something to that, and then you see more stuff about that. You kind of slowly descend down that trail. It's not like it's not like you're going to watch, you know, the actual movie, The Red Pill, and every night you're going to be a men's rights activist. It's, it's something that that's going to plant a seed, then you're going to go want to see something else. You know what I mean? Right. Like there's a, well, I mean, there's a transition. Yeah. The the meaning of the red pill has basically had a transition. I mean, originally it was men's rights activists. And then as the gamer gate and the, and this new right and old right started to develop, I would say it developed right before Trump. It started to develop. I saw a lot of comments that were really starting to get very anti-immigration. And that's something somebody pointed out in the live stream. I don't remember if it was a chatter or a YouTuber, but somebody pointed out, has she even done a video on immigration at all? Like Muslims or immigration? Because those are really, really hot button issues in our community. And she doesn't seem to be plugged into that. Well, yeah, well, that's what I mean. I mean, she just, she literally, like, every video I've watched is, like, regurgitated stuff people said three years ago. It's not anything new. It's nothing that's controversial. Like, I mean, I lose subscriptions all the time on my channel because I just, I don't filter what I say. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to put out what I think, and if you don't like it, don't follow me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, well. I see someone like her as being a a popularity kind of, of, of yeah. character actor. Yeah. I mean. That's just. 